Okay, here's the last game of note, Report versus Caruana. If Fabiano won this game, since MVL's game was drawn in like, you know, three minutes, he would actually tie for first and win on tie breaks. So he would have been declared the winner. They still would have split the money, but he would have won more money and won more rating points and been declared the champion. Okay, he played the Sicilian, playing for the win. Bishop F4 is a very unknown move. Um, I mean, it's been played, but it's really rare. The only time I see Bishop F4 is this opening trap where E5 wins a piece. Then if you take it, then Queen A5 check. That doesn't work after Knight C6 because after E5 I can take the Knight and okay, White's probably winning. All right, so this is actually one of the main lines that's been played a few times. And even though Fabi didn't seem to know this, he was thinking forever on every move. He seemed to get a fine position. Now, most of you <clears throat> would take on a7 because, you know, I know who you guys are. Then after queen a5, you would be like doing this. And you'd be like, why can't I take the rook? And then like, oh, I'm in chat. Oh, and then you'd still keep doing it. You're like, oh, maybe I can still do it. Okay. So he played knight c3. Now he could, now he could take, but it's not his turn. So. Okay, so the game was sort of boring where white just had a slight advantage and black couldn't do very much. It was just, you know, nobody could do anything. They were just chilling. Okay, and then Fabiano said, I had all I can stands, I can't stands no more. And Report knows that Fabiano has to win to win the tournament. So he's just like, all right, play crazy and try to win and I'll win. Usually Report plays crazy trying to win, but he was letting Fabi do that. So Fabi played knight h7 to trade off his dark squared bishop because this bishop is not great and this bishop is great. And probably we thought knight g5 might be better than bishop g5. Yeah, the engine agrees. The engine doesn't like this move because even though the bishop's bad, it's defending the d6 pawn, which is backward and can get attacked very easily. Yeah, so reports like, give me that pawn. Yeah, bishop d2, he wants to go to e1 and then hammer at this pawn. So he tripled up on the bubble up. Knight g5. Bishop e2, probably queen e3 is better, but bishop e2 is okay. And finally, after queen e3, he got counterplay, played f5. And the engine move here is very difficult to find, and he's not going to find it because Report played bishop e2 earlier, like two moves ago. And the engine move is bishop f3, defending everything, and now we can come in here and try to win some pawns. If we try to win some pawns now, the e pawn's not defended. If you play f4, f3, black has a great attack. So bishop f3 does everything. Bishop f3 stops you from playing f3, defends this pawn, and now we can go here, and white is a little bit better. But he played c5, and Crush and I thought that was great because neither one of us can count. We thought after this, like, black was sacking a pawn, but that pawn's defended sufficiently. So we're just crazy like Fox News. Okay, this is all good. F4 is good. Otherwise, black plays F4 and it's serious. Okay, knight e4 is good. Knight d5 is good. This is, everything's good. Yeah. And d4 is good, and it's just equal. The engine's like, you guys are playing great. The engine's never been so happy. Okay. In this position, report play bishop f3, which is a bad move. You should just take this, and it's equal. Everybody takes everything. Take, take, and it's, it's, it's equal. And instead, report plays for the win, because he's got this nice passed pawn, plays bishop here, and Fabi plays the excellent knight g5, and then report things forever. I guess he just underestimated this move. So now if you take the pawn, knight f3, gf3, queen g3, god damn. Bishop e2 looks really stupid because he just played bishop f3. That's like losing like two tempi. He found the right move, h4, and he can still hold this for a draw because he's got this pawn wrapped up. Rook d5, defending the pawn, trying to win this. This rook defends both pawns. Rook c5 maybe later. h5 is good. And here, report made a very bad move. Very bad. 
Very bad. Yeah, this is, it says every move draws. It says every move draws for white. A3, A4, Rook F4 to trade Rooks. And he plays this move, which is very close to losing. It's really bad. Okay, D3. And I think he blundered again. Yeah, now he now he, he played a very bad move. He has to go back here. It's funny that the engine is always retracting reports moves. Like bishop e2, the engine's like bishop f3. Rick f1, go back to d1. The engine doesn't like the way reports play. Now he blunders, rook f4. Now he might actually be lost. Maybe. Yeah, queen e6. Not the best move, but good enough. Probably queen e3 and queen e5 are better, but... Queen e6 is good. Rook f5 is forced. King h2 is probably not a good move. Yeah, and now this was the time control. Fabi was in bad time trouble. And now it looks like he's winning because he's threatening the queen and threatening mate if the queen moves. And if you play rook 5 to f3 to trade queens, I check you first. So Crush and I thought rook 1 f3 was the right move. And the problem with that move is I play queen e4. Now when you move your queen, d2, queen h4 check, god damn. And black's winning. He found the only move that draws here. White has one move that draws. He didn't think about it very long either. And when I say he draws, he might still be losing. But he's really losing if he doesn't play it, which is rook e1. Yeah. Now black can't take this. Now, now black's worse. <laughs> you're not going to save your pawn. I'm already a pawn up and your king is exposed. So you have to trade queens. And then rook d4, threatening this. You can't move the d-pawn right away because I can play either rook d3 or rook d5 and, and stop your pawn. So you have to go here. Now you're threatening to win. So he has to block it with his rook. And this position's equal material. Black has good winning chances. And what Report wants to do is give up a pawn here. And then when the guy takes it, when this pawn, he doesn't care if he loses this pawn because then it's two to one. That's, that's just a dead draw. It's like the Shanklin game was four to three with opposite bishops. So that's what Report tried to do. And Fabi found this great rook d5 move to check and then go back to d5. So he played king g3, which is good. King h4. And I thought black should be winning here somehow, but I didn't see how. And what Fabi should have done is taken these pawns at some point and had this passed pawn. And I was showing a really long, complicated winning method, uh, which Crush agreed with. But I wasn't using the engine, so maybe I'm crazy. Um, so Fabi just threatened me, which is fine. Threaten checkmate. Okay. Now... I thought black would win if he did this. If he if he played this, if white gets behind the pawn like you're supposed to, okay, then you play here. If you go here and here, you're winning because the king is out of play. The king gets back just in time to stop, you know, that from happening. And um, what happens on rook a8? Oh, G, G5 is probably... G5 doesn't look like it's winning. G5 definitely isn't winning. Yeah. So we have to... We have to actually play King G at first. Rook A8 might just draw here. A3, King G3... Yeah, that's just a draw. The engine is saying black has a, like, almost winning position. That is incorrect. The engine's just wrong. Yeah, this is actually an immediate draw. Yeah. Yeah, the engine thinks this gives good winning chances or is winning. It's just, it's just wrong. Yeah. Without this pawn, this is a draw. <laughs> all right, now the engine's thinking about it and saying, all right, never mind. Uh, Ivan Karamazov. Yeah. So maybe that line wasn't winning, but I'll show you what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. I didn't see rook a8. Is, is you play king here and you run your king over to, to, to uh, b8. This is the standard way you win these positions. Then you walk your king up to the king side. Break on through to the king side. Okay. 
and we get this position. And the idea is if white doesn't do anything like here, I'm going to give you my A pawn and then not king takes, but rook here. And then I'm going to take this and this. Uh, yeah. Although maybe with the king on g2, I can take. No, I can't. Rook a7 draws. And I thought this was winning. Now I'm not so sure. The engine's saying this, this. This seems like it's winning. The engine doesn't think it's winning. Huh. Maybe it's not because if I ever play rook here, you check and take this pawn. But I thought I could play rook here and then king here. Why doesn't that win? Yeah, why doesn't, why doesn't this win? What am I missing? Oh, rook f5. So you can just keep attacking this pawn. And if I hide my king, you play rook f5. Uh, Ivan Karamazov uh, gifted another sub. Thank you. And subscribed. So probably that didn't work. Yeah. Probably this doesn't win then. Okay, so Fabi did this. And he tried to get keep the pawns on the board. And this was amazing. In this position which I thought Fabi was playing the right way, get his king involved. I thought Rapport was going to play g5 to like trade pawns. He played here and he's like, play king f7. I dare you. I double dare you. Do they speak English in king f7? And Fabian was like, all right. And this was just brilliant. I mean, this is great what Rapport did here. It might be the only move that draws. That's what the engine's saying. Engine could be wrong. Rook e2. Stopping the king, but that's not the point. The point is, I want to check. If you go back, then I want to play for checkmate. That's why the rook's on e2. So, I mean, this move's just great. Yeah, now you can't win. Yeah, the only move that tries to win is king back to g8 and get your king back there. But that's going to be a draw. I'll play b6 and I'll draw. Yeah. So, they, they repeated and drew... This move also draws, but what black looks like he could be in trouble. But g5 check is the only move that draws. And then um, either move draws. And the reason is I just go check, 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 and that's it. You can't, you, there's nothing you can do. Oh, I, I didn't check. I, I typoed. You just leave your rook on e8 and you check with the other rook and you can't block with, you can't do anything. It's just a draw. So Fabi could have done that also, but instead he just, he blocked with the rook, which is the other legal move. Then he defended his pawn, and that's a draw. Okay. Yeah, he didn't play king g8, he played here. And yeah. So Fabi had good winning chances in that game twice. Very resourceful defense from Report. And um, the game should have been drawn earlier, but Report, I think, was trying to win because Fabi was in time trouble. And then he almost lost as a consequence. Frankly, terrible. So five draws in the last round and uh, so forth. Mainly and so forth. Let's see. Uh, Levy, Alekine. There was a four versus four that was won about... Uh... I want to say about seven years ago, but I don't remember what year it was. Um, Panamaria versus Carlson in a rapid tournament. It was Rook and Four against Rook and Four, and Carlson won. He was like very, very, very slightly better. And it was drawn forever, and then finally Panamaria cracked. Former world chess champion Panamaria. Frankly, ridiculous. All right, thanks for watching. I got to go direct the Blitz tournament and see if my stepson's still alive and see if they're doing the pairings right and, you know, see how many parry I have left in the club and so forth, mainly and so forth. Uh, let's see, I raid you, you raid me. There's only one person I'm following who's doing chess right now and they're not even a person. So, but we're like that, son. All right, see you guys tomorrow. I'll be playing sub-Saturday and sub-Sunday the next two games. And don't forget...